Stray Kids and Chung'a were recently set to perform in Saudi Arabia, which ultimately got cancelled due to a sandstorm. But before the guys even made it out of Korea, this happened. <laughs> With how chaotic the airport was, the guys were getting bumped and pushed the whole way through, resulting in Felix either tripping on someone or getting pushed over. After this, the guys, including staff, had to regroup and hold on to each other. It was speculated that leader Bang Chan expressed his anger toward the situation. And how could you blame him? Remember when Sana and Che Young had to help a crying Ji Hyo out of the airport due to her falling because of the mob at the airport? Thankfully, when they did arrive, the scene looked much more safe and organized for everyone. I don't know how this is still happening, allowed or not prevented, especially during a pandemic, the fact that 20 idols tested positive this week alone makes what happened at last night's awards show even more baffling. When Red Velvet arrived to take pictures, the photographers began yelling at the girls to take off their masks. And even though the girls clearly didn't want to, the reporters still kept urging them to do so. You can see Sogi and Wendy look over at Irene and Irene saying no, putting up the X, followed by the others. Eventually, either the girls had to give in or were given the okay by their own staff. The photographers lack of concern explains why ATs was also swarmed on their way to the states for their world tour. I guess people just forget that Stray Kids Han and ATs' Mingi have been dealing with anxiety issues, and it was actually announced this week by SM Entertainment that due to his worsening mental health conditions, Taemin will carry out the remainder of his military service as a public service worker. For a lot of people, this came out of nowhere because we always see Taemin as this happy, positive guy. But according to them, during his service time, Taemin was receiving treatment and counseling for symptoms of depression and panic disorder, and it seems there may have been some negative reactions to this news, because a couple of Taemin's fellow soldiers stepped up in his defense, describing his struggles, the medication he had to take on a daily basis, yet during all of this still tried to keep a positive attitude and atmosphere for the sake of those around him. While it's awesome to see how much his colleagues cared about him, and how much he tried to stay positive for them, I hope he also remembers the words he used to comfort his fans. <laughs> Taemin is one of the coolest guys in K-pop, so crossing our fingers and hoping for the best next time we get an update. A positive update we actually got was regarding the situation between Jay and Jamie. Jamie stated that Jay came by the other day, they had a talk, he apologized, and she said if anyone knows Jay as a friend, knows he didn't mean what he said. She just wanted him to know how she felt and he felt awful about it. It seems like she's forgiven him, they're good. She even ended with a lighthearted, I'ma smack you if you do that one more time. Let's keep this positivity going with more lighthearted, uplifting news that makes you feel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You make me so I love that clip so much. Although, just to be clear, not sponsored by 7-Eleven, we are sponsored by Cash App, though, who have been giving out $15 for free when you sign up using referral code YouTube. If you want, it even comes with a debit card you can customize, which Cash App will laser print and mail to you. Obviously going to get one that says you make me 7-Eleven. Also, it comes with discounts on places you love called Boosts. Cash App is the easiest way to send, spend, save, and even invest in things like stocks and Bitcoin with as little as a dollar. Like if your friend still needs to pay you back for- he finally paid me back. Again, just use the referral code YouTube and you'll get $15 in your account. How can we not start the good news with Chen welcoming his second baby, baby to this world? One day that baby will grow up and shout, Mama, we made it. Congrats to NCT 127 for winning their first ever day sung at the Seoul Music Awards, a show where we got to see this. Imagine you run into Somi near a photo booth and you know, just casually live the dream of every fan. Despite going through her own struggles, twice as Jung Yan can't help but to help, opening an Instagram account to find this puppy a new home, who is currently being taken care of by her and her sister. How about Victon doing their best to help the environment by offering to send physical photo cards, even if you purchase their album digitally and making this option cheaper. This is an effort to combat bulk buying just to get into fan signs and then trashing the extra albums. It's great to see these efforts becoming more common with winners Mino and YG making albums as environmentally friendly as possible, which is good because Treasure are selling a lot of albums. Doubling their sales record like we talked about Omega X doing and From Us 9 tripling their sales, who just earned their second and third career number ones with DM. Guys, Yuju has finally debuted solo with 
support of So Won and Yeri? Because the three other former G Friend members are preparing for debut this month. Yena also just debuted featuring BB. I didn't think she was going to go the cuter route, but this awesome song hit me out of nowhere. I truly think she's one of the best in this business when it comes to gestures and facial expressions. Here's a really cool full circle moment. CLC's Yeon was there when Idol won their first number one trophy. And now Idol's Mian is there when Yujin won her first trophy as a member of Kepler. And once again, we have to mention Ive when it comes to number one wins because they have now surpassed Itzy's record of nine wins for a debut song with 11, 11 wins for a song called 11. That's so crazy perfect, like what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? The next one is totally for me. Big Bang's top posting a picture of the group saying, I love my band and I love my fans. This makes me so happy. As you can see, Big Bang album right here. More Big Bang stuff behind my head. Talking YG boy groups, how about Winner getting on V Live for the first time in two years after the members were recently discharged from the military? Speaking of reunions, someone please help Bam Bam because this guy is trying his hardest not to spoil a God 7 comeback. God 7 서로 공유하고 얘기를 많이 했었는데 아 이거 제가 얘기하면 또 갑자기 막 멤버들이 왜 얘기했냐 이렇게 나올까 봐. 그렇죠. Do you know that Bam Bam spoiled the gossip comeback? He's always made always makes the problem and trouble. <laughs> Infinite also recently reunited on stage for the first time in four years. Think about how long that is. And on that note of waiting, not only did Jisoo recently address her solo debut, but Jenny also assured fans that the girls are working on the group comeback everyone is waiting for. By the way, that reminds me. I just heard this fact that blew my mind the other day. The last time Blackpink had a comeback as a group, Espa and Enhypen did not debut yet. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell?